Hey guys, uh, Gerbil Playtime here. Today I'll be doing some Gerbil beginner tips uh, for those who are getting gerbils. Um, as you can see, there's actually a uh, aspen is just hiding there in the coconut. Um, in case you're wondering how many gerbils I have, I have I have three right now. So it's always good. Number one tip, guys, it's always good to have more than one gerbil. So buy gerbils in pairs at least, if not more than that. And yeah, there's aspen. She's Albino, and then there's Garcia, and then there's Sammy, she's hiding now. <laughs> Sammy's the oldest one here, then these guys I bought. So I bought Sammy and Hopper, and then Hopper passed, well no. I've, I've always mixed and matched dribbles, so I don't buy them at the same time. Like, Sammy I bought way before, and I bought these two guys. These two, Garcia and Aspen, I bought after Sammy. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, also, this is not their cage, this is their pl um, the reason why it's good to buy dribbles in pairs is because dribbles will get very lonely and depressed apparently from what I've read if they do not have a, a friend or whatever, so it's good that they, you know, have somebody to, you know, it's good that they have a little friend, right? Um, or a couple of them. Plus, uh, this is not their cage, this is their cage, it's awesome. <laughs> I really love it, I got it for my birthday. It has three floors. It's it's huge. They really really love it. It's actually really hard to find them in here because there's about a foot of bay. <laughs> oh god, is it ever a chore? But you know, it's all right. It's really great because they love it. It's so much space. I wall mounted that uh, wheel there of theirs um, so that it doesn't tip over, cause problems. It's actually just so amazing. And it's really easy to clean. It's actually incredibly easy to clean. But Anyways, um, and a cage like this costs sixty dollars. Uh, you can get smaller ones for like thirty, but honestly, if you're getting a bunch of gerbils, like more than one, I really recommend getting a cage like this. Um, second of all, what are the gerbils in right now? This is just their little playpen. Uh, so I I built them a playpen here. It's always good to have something where you can just take them around where they're not in the cage all the time, uh, like this. Um, my uh, parents are divorced, not that I'm telling you guys my life story, but I do have a, a cage at my dad's house and when I do bring them from my mom's to my dad's, I just put them in this little carrying case which was like $15. I'm talking Canadian, so that's like, I don't know how much that is American, I, I actually have no idea. Uh, I know it's less though, I could check on my phone, but I left it upstairs. Anyways, um, so it's good to buy in pairs. Buy in, uh, buy them, or build, just, I just used a box and filled it with bedding for their, uh, little playpen here. And it's deep too, it's pretty, yeah, so there you go, it's, I don't know, it's kind of deep. It's about the height of them when they're standing here. Aspen, or any of them, any of them, look, so you saw there how tall they are, so, it's about that, their height deep. Um, give them lots of stuff to chew on because if they don't chew, their teeth will, get in grown look at <laughs> see they love uh this kind of bedding it's just made out of shredded cardboard and stuff so there you go there's a look at it it's just shredded cardboard so they can dig really easily in it so they really really enjoy it um give them stuff to chew on so for example i have some cardboard here which i'm guessing that they probably enjoy anyways but yeah so they they'll chew this up or whatever yeah, it's good to have something like this. If you don't have cardboard lying around the house, I do because uh, when I bought my Xbox One, because uh, I bought it on eBay, this is its box, so I just rip up a bit of it. Um, yeah, I have tons of boxes, as you can see just from up there. My setup is like moved around, as you guys can see, I have an L desk. I usually have triple monitors. All I have is my laptop. Uh, that's just because I'm moving right now. Well, not moving houses, but I'm moving. Oh, I moved all my stuff, all my setup outside uh, to clean off my desk, which I've done here. So, yeah, and I've left it outside for a day. And this is like the laziest weekend I've had in my life. I was literally too lazy to put back my gaming computer, Xbox One, PS3, 360, and everything else. But yeah, so there's all my boxes. I, would, I wouldn't feed them these boxes because I actually really like the looks of those boxes, so that's why I keep them up there. But durable boxes I keep over here, so from my modem and stuff like I wouldn't give them a box like this guys uh, cuz it's colored and stuff and ink is probably not too great for them this is just a box like cuz I sell a lot of stuff on eBay so I'd put something that I'm selling in here so something like that like don't give them colored boxes if you have like a plain box like something like this 
not too much color on it, it's fine. They won't probably mind, so like it won't probably it'll probably not do anything. It'll, they probably won't get sick from it because I've no, because I've had gerbils for so many years. I've had gerbils since I was like seven years old. So I've almost had gerbils for ten years, uh, nine years then. So, and I know because I've fed gerbils this before because I've had gerbils for so long, and it did not make them sick or anything. So yeah. Anyways, um, also give them fresh stuff. Like, uh, so here's their food. Kind of show you. This is a bit of it here. Um, give them like uh, carrots and slices of strawberry, banana, stuff like that. They will enjoy it and they will. They will like it. And if you guys want to train them uh, just to be like more calm and chill, chilled out and stuff. Sorry, I have all my memory sticks here and all my memory cards for my camera and so on. I shouldn't have left these here. Anyways. If you want to train them and stuff, I don't know if they'll actually go for it right now. But a good way to train them is to put some food in your hand. And if they'll, and they'll, if they trust you enough, they'll probably take it out of your hand. I don't know if it'll work right now because they're really distracted, but we'll see. Yeah, so you can see they trust me because they're all taking food out of my hand and going all over my hand. Yeah, so, yeah, there you go. Hey, Aspen, if you want some, you can, yeah, there you go. See, so all three of them trust me enough to take food out of my hand there, so you guys can see that's an easy way to train them. Oh, and another thing, this is unrelated, but if you guys have a capable device, be sure to watch this in 1080p as you can, as it looks a lot better and it takes a lot, it doesn't take that long for me to upload it. Like, a, a video like this is like, I don't know how long this will be, but it's like 7 minutes right now, and that's probably about a gigabyte or so in 1080p with my camera. Your camera might be different. Um, but it's about a gigabyte or a gigabyte and a half, it depends. Um, well, this is very bright and colorful, so it's probably a gigabyte and a half. Um, but, yeah, so it, 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 that'll take like 3 minutes to upload. I have fiber optics, so, yeah, it doesn't take long, but, anyways, it just, I don't have to make the videos in 1080p. It takes me less time to uh, to edit them and copy them onto my computer if they're not in 1080. So I don't know. It's just it's just helpful. It's, I don't know. It's it's for you guys. If you guys want to watch it in that, you can. If you don't have a capable device, if you're watching this on an iPad or something, then yeah, whatever. But if you're watching it on a computer, it'll look better in 1080. Sorry to waste you guys' time explaining that, but yeah. Also, another thing that's really good. I know my room's messy, guys. I know. I know a lot of moms and their kids watch this or whatever, or parents and their kids. Oh wow, that kid's room is really messy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to tell you. I could use the excuse that, oh, I'm 16, but I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't really, it doesn't matter too much to me that it's messy. I mean, obviously I care about cleanliness if I cleaned off my desk, three monitors to take down and stuff, but... Anyways, uh, toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls are really, really good for them because they'll chew it up and stuff. Also, uh, you can use branches from outside, but um, the reason why I say can, it, like, I'm a bit iffy on that is because you got to be careful that there's no uh, bugs or anything in it because you don't want to harm your gerbils or your own health. So, yeah, so you got to be really careful uh, with that kind of stuff. One of the gerbils is completely underneath. The bedding here, so there's Aspen, there's Sammy Garcia's dug all the way there. There you go. So I don't know where they're both underneath now. <laughs> there's Garcia pops up randomly. There's there's Aspen. Yeah, they they love this kind of bedding. So this kind of bedding is really good. It's also anti allerg like al allergenic. I don't know. <laughs> they won't. You won't be really allergic to it if you are allergic to sawdust, which I am. Uh, I'm allergic to tons of stuff. <laughs> But yeah, um, also handling your gerbils, um, I, I think I've covered this before, but, I'll pick up, mm, Sammy, Sammy, <laughs> uh, when you're catching gerbils, don't, don't grab them like that, and don't grab them by the tail and, like, hold them like that, I mean, you can use the tail as, kind of, to, to make them stop running or whatever, so, like, just like that, I'm not holding them too hard, so what I think, the way I think of it is, hold them, as though you're holding like a paper towel roll, but don't hold tight enough where the paper towel roll will bend. Because then you're probably injuring them. Just hold them lightly. You don't need to be like holding them like that. So just hold them as though you're holding a paper towel roll, but be cautious as though it was a paper towel roll just for it not to bend. I don't know. That's just the way I think of 
I think of it. Just do not. They're they're small animals. So, oh, I'm sorry, Aspen. You you came right up and bonked my hand. Um, so they're small animals, so you don't want to hurt them or anything like that, obviously. So, um, yeah. Also, buy them good food. Don't buy them just the pet store uh, kibbles or whatever. Okay, because the pet store actually gave us some of that when we bought the gerbils. Because this is what they were eating at Petland when we bought them. Is just it looks kind of like dog food or whatever. I don't know. We don't really feed them it because they don't really. They the gerbils don't really like it. I don't know. They just don't. Um, I buy them this stuff. Um, this has a lot of variety in it. Complete nutrition hamster gerbil diet. You can buy this kind of stuff at Walmart or stores like that in general. And I just seal it up. I don't know if it's resealable. I think it is, probably. And I just go like that. Just keep it fresh for the gerbils because you don't want their food to be stale. Just like you wouldn't want your own food to be stale. So, yeah, you want to treat your gerbils really, really nicely. And for them to have a long... And, um... Just for them to have a long, nice life. Um, so yeah, you got got things like corn and stuff. Anyways, you guys can look when you're shopping. Just don't buy anything plain. Uh, you're also going to want to buy them. Here, watch. Like, they don't like, I don't think they like this stuff too much. I mean, like, what even is this, right? It looks like just a kibble. Is it? I don't know why my camera's not focusing. Oops. Yeah, but, yeah, there you go. Now you can see. Fairly well. Now the camera's focusing amazing. Wow, that's actually really nicely focused. Anyways, but, um, uh, so if you see, they probably won't take this at all. No, not really. Hey, don't bite me. Don't chew my... You gotta be careful because they will chew your clothes. Uh, as you can see here, they've chewed up my hoodie. They don't, they don't, I don't think they like this stuff. Oh. No. <laughs> uh, they will chew your, uh, hoodie. This is, uh, what my old gerbil hopper did. Chewed it. I have shirts that are way worse, but those are wear around the house kind of shirts. Um, but yeah, you don't want to feed them too much because um, they'll stop if they get full. They're not like a uh, certain kind of dogs that don't stop, know when to stop. Um, so they'll stop, but they could get obese. I don't know. I've never had one that, <laughs> that was like that. I don't know. They probably look pretty funny, pretty peculiar. Um, so yeah, you don't want that to happen. So yeah, I have some treats here, healthy bits. Uh, these they really they really like these yogurt drops here. They really enjoy these. I don't know if they'll take some right now. I don't know how hungry they are, but again, pretty sealable. So that's nice. Um, here's just what it kind of looks like. It's a bit chalky here, as you can see. It's left left some. It looks chalky here on my hand. Um, yeah, they're just yogurt drops, so it kind of, I don't know, they, they, they enjoy them. I don't know if they'll take them here, but they're really preoccupied, I don't know if you noticed. Oh my god, there, I'll just throw them in there. <laughs> you guys are savages today, look at that. See, she took it, goes underground, I can see her eating it right now. You guys can't really see her because it's, because she's, oh no, Garcia, Garcia, I have one for you. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> scared Aspen. I gotta be scared. You don't got to be scared. Um, yeah, as you can see, the gerbils have escaped from their cage before and chewed this packet. Uh, luckily, not a hole in it. I have some pumpkin seeds, colored pumpkin seeds. I don't know if they enjoy these. I think they do. They love this right now. They're getting a feast. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there you go. You guys want some of this? No, 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 no. There you go. Also, I redid this video because uh, the other one, the other video I did, which was like three years ago. Yeah, I did it three years ago. So, yes, in 2012 when I did it, um, I was 13 years old, and I was, I think I cursed in it twice or something like that. Um, I curse a lot in my gaming videos. I curse all the time in my, in just regular life, but. I tried, I really, really tried my best never to curse in gerbil videos because guess what? I know a lot of little kids watch these videos. You know, a lot of families watch these videos. And I have to be, you know, mindful of that and, you know, respectful of those families. So that's why I don't curse in my videos on this channel. I, 
It, the really, really, really old ones from 2012, maybe I, I might have, but just honestly, guys, I apologize if you ever have seen a video of mine where I did use vulgar language, and I apologize. Anyways, um, but yeah, so again, nice cage, not good food, yeah, so you just want to have a really nice habitat for the gerbils where if you were a gerbil, you'd be like, hey, I want to live there. Um, so yeah, let's put the cam. Put the cam there. If you guys are wondering what camera I use, I can show you really quickly. Uh, it's a Canon uh, PowerShot SX600HS Wi-Fi. Actually, I really like the Wi-Fi addition to it because I have uh, I have an iPhone 5, 64 gig, and I can just download the Canon app and just transfer pictures and videos or whatever right to my photo album. But I just use my laptop or my desktop to edit, so. <laughs> It just works better, so you just use a computer, but I mean, if I just take a picture and I want to send it to a friend to post on Instagram or whatnot. Anyways, um, I think that's about it. Those are some dribble beginner tips. I'm starting to make this video so long, but um, honestly, I really, ho really hope it was really helpful for you guys. Really. Emphasis on really. I hope it was helpful for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring, um, or wasn't boring at all. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.